Where have you learned the most about birth control? Commercials? Online. My high school health class. The pill works in three ways. Can you name what they are? Uh, uh, nope. <laughs> Not a single one. Your egg doesn't react to being fertilized. But it kind of tricks your body into thinking that you're pregnant. The pill actually works by stopping you from ovulating, increasing the thickness of your cervical mucus so that the sperm don't actually get past the cervix into the uterus and fallopian tubes so they don't encounter the egg. One common misconception about birth control pills is that the pill tricks your body into thinking that you're pregnant. When you're pregnant, you don't ovulate, but that's pretty much the only similarity. What two hormones make up most types of the pill? Um, I'm honestly not sure. Estrogen and something else. I was going to say testosterone, but that doesn't make any sense. The pill is composed of two hormones, estrogen and progestin. Now, progestin is a synthetic version of the hormone progesterone, which occurs naturally in your body. It's secreted by your ovaries. The progesterone is what stops you from ovulating and thickens up the cervical mucus to prevent you from getting pregnant. The estrogen in the pill helps you have a regular cycle while you're on it, controls breakthrough bleeding. Do you know what the mini pill is? The what? Like a placebo? Isn't it kind of like a form of like the plan B? The progesterone only pill. The mini pill contains only a progestin. A woman might be prescribed the mini pill because she has a health condition that prevents her from safely taking estrogen or because she's breastfeeding. Do you know how to prevent a condom from breaking? I think you can. They don't ejaculate more than once in that kind of so it doesn't break. Lube? Did I get it? <laughs> oh my God. First thing to know is that it's very rare for a condom to break. The first thing, and this sounds kind of obvious, is to use a new condom with each act of intercourse. Open the package correctly and carefully. Don't use your teeth, fingernails, or scissors. You want to make sure that you're using the right kind of lubricant. Do not use oil-based lubricants like petroleum jelly, baby oil, or body lotions. Finally, if the condom does break, Plan B, emergency contraception, is available over the counter. In order for the birth control shot, Deborah Provera, to be effective, how often do you have to get the birth control shot? Once a month? Once every three years, maybe? Every, like, five years? Like every two, three months? For the birth control shot to be effective, you need to come in about every 12 weeks or three months. The birth control shot contains only one hormone, another progestin. Where does the birth control implant live in your body? Your uterus. Uterus. When they put in your arm? Can you guess how big it might be? A centimeter? One millimeter. <laughs> like this big, maybe? Contraceptive implants, also known as Nexplanon, are flexible plastic rods. They're about the size of a matchstick, and it's placed subdermally in the inner upper arm, just beneath the skin. It's good for three years. It's incredibly effective and incredibly safe contraception. In insert. <laughs> Intro. Uterus. <laughs> Disaster. Interuterine device. There are two types of IUDs. Do you know what they are? One is like me metal, and then one is like hormonal. And it only contains one hormone. What is it? Progestin. You got it! There are two types of IUDs available in the United States. One of them contains copper and the other contains a hormone. The hormonal IUD releases a hormone called levonorgestrel, which is a progestin. If people at risk for pregnancy know how different birth control methods work, they'll be more likely to choose the method that's right for them. I have definitely learned a lot. This has been helpful. I've never taken like a class on this. But I didn't really know how my own birth control worked. I just use it. <laughs> I'll tell my roommates when I go back up.